Roleplay Madison has delicious street food and some fun and fantastic games. You're going to want to learn a little bit more about what they're doing and how things are going right now as we continue to navigate the coronavirus pandemic. We're joined now by the owners. We've got Charles Theo and Soraya Lee. Of course, Soraya behind the camera, but both of you, thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Nice to see you. And let's talk a little bit about what's happening. So one of the big parts of your business, of course, is that people can come and play board games. So the COVID-19 pandemic has changed some of your practices, but you're still able to operate and have people playing. Yes. So we are open for board games at the start of the semester. Um, what we are doing is that after every game has been uh, bought by a customer, We'll sanitize it and put it on hold from 24 to 48 hours so that the, the game would be completely COVID-19 free. And yeah, lots of different practices being put in place to keep people safe, of course. Let's talk uh, about events because in, uh, events are things that were a big part of your business. You are able to still do some weekly events, right? Let's talk about that. Yes. So right now, what we have planned is that on Friday, we're going to host Mahjong Night. Basically, Mahjong Night is a reservation-only event for four people, and they can call ahead and make a reservation. And when the, when the customers come in, I'll personally teach them how to play in Mahjong, and you know, um, they can learn the game of Mahjong in one night. Yeah, and last... so Mahjong would be a Chinese, uh, it's kind of like a Chinese uh, gin rummy, uh, dominoes, I would say. You know, I haven't played the game yet. I'm going to have to check that out because I know a lot of folks that really enjoy that one. And speaking of things that folks really enjoy coming from you guys is the food. You have incredible food. And I got the opportunity to sample some of your food last time I saw you in person. Let's talk about some of what you have. Let's start with the Impossible Rice Bowl. What is that? Yes. So the Impossible Rice Bowl is a new dish that we just got in because we just recently purchased um, some uh, Impossible Beef. So basically, it's um, the Impossible Beef cement in our house-made sauce um, served on a bed of flavored rice, and it's, uh, it's fantastic. It tastes exactly like real beef to me. I couldn't tell the difference, and a lot of our customers couldn't tell it either. Yeah, sounds delightful. And it is, it's like impossibly good, some of those items. Let's talk about Thunder Tea Rice. You're always introducing us to new foods and different foods. What's Thunder Tea Rice? So Thunder Tea Rice is a, a rice dish from the Hakka region of China. Basically, it's a vegetarian dish with tofu, different vegetables, as well as nuts, as well, uh, and served with a herbal tea soup. The herbal tea soup is made with basil, mint, and tea leaves. So the soup can also double up as a sauce, and it's uh, actually my mom's favorite dish in terms of from, from China. Lots of good foods for folks to give it a try, and those who are looking to add a little culture to their evening or date night, a great spot because it's just incredible good food and some really unique finds, things that I hadn't had before. You also have a vegan dessert that, let, let's talk about that today. Yes, so we have a new dish, a uh, vegan dessert. It's called bo uh, Bobo Cha Cha. Basically, it's a coconut milk uh, dessert with taro, with um, um, sweet potatoes, with uh, bananas, and it's, it's sweet, it's cold, it's very light, and it's, it's, it's a good dessert to have uh, on a day like this. Yeah, and for folks who are wanting to dine in, of course, they can come and do that right now. Uh, are you also doing curbside if folks are, you know, maybe not feeling comfortable coming in the building? I know everyone's at a different comfort level right now as we work our way through these times. Yes, so right now we are open for curbside. We are also open for delivery across, all the, uh, across different delivery platforms. Um, we are also open for dining right now at about 50% capacity um, following the state law and the state recommendations. Excellent. Okay, so good to know. You can do curbside, you can do delivery, or of course you can dine in at half capacity, and I highly recommend it. It's going to be a night you won't forget with delicious food, lots of fun, and you guys are so great. Thank you so much for taking some time with us, Charles and Soraya behind the camera. Good camera work. Thanks so much, you guys. Thank you for having us. Thank you. You bet. We'll be back with more after the break. We hope you'll stick around.